Welcome back everyone. We're doing a quick range report here, probably be channel on Facebook, Instagram, those sorts of things. For this ammo, it is Barnall 300 blackout steel case stuff with a bimetal jacket, meaning that it has a lead core and then a steel outer um, jacket on there. So if you guys can't shoot steel case where you're at, sucks to be you, not for you. Uh, it does have a lacquer coated case and uh, pretty simple design overall, nothing too fancy, no sealant there on the base. But uh, what we're gonna do today is get some chronograph data with it, see how it's doing in terms of velocity, consistency, consistency, those sorts of things. We're also gonna do a quick accuracy test here with this little guy here, the Brownhouse BRN 180 with 300 blackout barrel that I just spilled water all over. That's suboptimal. Either way, uh, we will do that and then wrap it up at the end. We've got the chronograph down range at approximately 10 yards, so we're basically gonna be getting muzzle velocity uh, from it. Uh, barrel is a 10 inch barrel here on our BRN 180, so pretty common for 300 blackout. Somewhere in the, you know, eight to 10 inch range is what a lot of guys are running. There we go. All right, let's see. All right, it's registering, that's good. I didn't see the mag. Ah, uh, one shooter it and this. Can't put it on the ammo. That was almost a nasty group with that one not being in there. Then our Bernal, which I think may have been the best group of the lot. We'll see, time will tell. And we are center to center, right at an inch and a half on that one. That's it guys, it's just a quick video. We put 80 rounds through the gun, had zero malfunctions of any kind. You guys saw the accuracy, it's pretty crazy actually. Um, I would take that all day long. And uh, right now, this stuff is extraordinarily hard to find as anybody who has tried to purchase ammo in the last two months knows, but hopefully in the future that won't be the case and Steel Case 300 Black will be a cheaper alternative for folks who wanna practice more and pay a little bit less. Um, of course, right now, again, that's not really the case. Everything's expensive and when this stuff comes in stock, we'll post it up on my Facebook page if you guys want to take a look at it. But a lot of the negatives of Steel Case Ammo, I have a full video on Steel Case Ammo I'm going into details, check it out. There'll probably be a little thing up here in the screen where I link to it. But one of the bigger ones is barrel erosion. And in 300 blackout, just like 7.60 by 39, it's less of an issue in my opinion because your barrel simply doesn't get as hot and it's not gonna erode as much as it would with 5.56 or 2.23. Um, so that, there's that. And then the folks who focus on the extractor and stuff like that, I've never seen an issue with that in steel case ammo. Uh, the steel that they use in steel case is just so mild that if your extractor is being impacted by it, I'd probably just get a different extractor. Um, it shouldn't be, that That should be much, much harder and much better heat treated than what you're seeing here on these steel cases. Of course, they're going to be not reloadable. I know people do reload steel case ammo. Have at it if you want to. I'm gonna tell you if they don't recommend it. Um, and the 147 grain, as you guys saw from the velocity, is obviously supersonic. A lot of folks say that they're waiting for, you know, the Russian ammo to come in that's subsonic. We'll see if that happens. I'm not sure if it will, honestly, because what I think they're doing, just like many U.S. manufacturers, is they're just throwing their standard 308 bullet in there and just doing it for efficiency, cost sake, those sorts of things. So I'm not sure if it'll come down the road with subsonics. We shall see. But right now, these are coming into the country. So that certainly is a good thing. And uh, the more ammo, the better at this point. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Just a quick report. And uh, look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.